welcome to the Leading with Love podcast. I'm your host, Shauna Arthurs. The purpose of this podcast is to touch your heart, expand your soul, and help us all be everything we came here to be. We have interviews with amazing humans and solo episodes as well, all made to bring more love, more joy, and wisdom into your day. It's a growing list, so check back often and let's dive right in. Hello. Oh my goodness. I just love this venue so much. It's kind of like having a radio show, you know, like we used to listen to when we were kids and late at night and you would listen to a late night radio show. And I don't know, I never really thought about doing something like this on, on my own or myself, but I love it. I love the interviews. I'm so grateful for all of you who have done interviews thus far. And for those of you in line to do so, it's just such a beautiful thing to have a conversation that opens up people's hearts and lets us um, expand who we are as we're talking and in real time. It's just, I love it. I love everything about it. I can't believe I waited this long to do this. It just never, never occurred to me. Um, so thank you. Thank you for being here again. Um, actually, today what I want to talk about is taking responsibility for our own happiness. Stay with me. Stay with me. This is really good um, because I might get a little vulnerable. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Pardon me. Just a little under the weather, but that's okay. I know. I know because I've done it and we've all done it and we've been raised to do this that many of us search for happiness outside of ourselves. In fact, is not part of the Constitution of the United States the right of to pursue happiness, the pursuit of happiness. It's something that we are born and bred to do. It's a perspective that is bred into us to search for happiness um, outside of yourself. And it's such a fake out because we have everything we need inside of us. No other human being can ever fill that void. No trip no gambling, no sex, no food, no alcohol, no nothing. And I've really noticed um, a couple of the, the guests that I've had on already have talked about sobriety and really taken me down a path of learning about that because it's not something that is on my radar either. I, 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 I don't, it's not a path that I've been on put it that way. Um, I don't drink very much. I don't consume a whole lot of things. I don't think that would help me numb from any pain. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. Um, just bear with me as, I, as I'm thinking, I'm gathering my thoughts here. It's rampant in our society, not just to seek happiness outside of ourselves, but also to numb our pain, to run from our pain, to hide it, to distract ourselves from it because we all have wounds we all have pain we all have patterns that we would rather not look at and dynamics in relationships that um, hurt our feelings and it's easier for us to project that outward and blame someone or um, run a pattern that we chose when we were little kids that we thought would protect us right and so when we go work our butts off and we're workaholics or again when we go drinking all the time or we're gambling or we're on our phones whatever those addictions might be they are simultaneously us trying to seek happiness somewhere outside of ourselves and also hiding from our own inner pain and of course ironically and perfectly the answer to all of it is inside you have to sit with yourself and finally give some credence and some time to what is being shown to you. The screaming little person inside that is wanting to be seen and heard and in pain that is causing you to try and fill a void with a relationship, with validation from others to run from that pain inside it's, it really is as I'm speaking it I can see that it's true that the seeking outside of ourselves and the running away the distracting it's all part of the same mechanism to avoid what's inside 
but what's inside of you is so freaking spectacular and beautiful and warm and fuzzy and joy filled and you just don't know because no one's ever sat you down and shown you how beautiful you are when you actually have a chance to give some grace and some space to what is inside of you trying to be seen and we are all afraid of those what feels like monsters dark pits whatever because it's terrifying it feels like I remember um Ooh, okay. I remember one time my mama saying to me years and years ago when I began my own healing journey, she said, you never feel your emotions. And I didn't believe her. I probably argued with her. And I said, of course I do. But it, it struck a chord with me because I was deeply depressed and very uh, unhappy and really couldn't figure it out. And she was She told me there was light at the end of the tunnel and I didn't believe her. And she held such a beautiful space for me. Um, And like like she held a thread for me to hang on to. If you're listening, I'm just kind of pulling a thread with my my hands. Um, And she held that kind of space that I now know that I can hold for myself. For everything that's in me that wants to be seen and heard and felt too painful for me to face. When you actually start just maybe a little bit looking at the pain that's inside of you and feeling it, you don't have to go all in at once. Just just sit a little bit and let it let it be there. Don't name it, don't project, don't blame, don't even describe it or the reasons for it. That's where we get caught between the pain and the Oh my God, I feel this way because somebody did this. Somebody hurt me. Somebody said this. No, 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 no. Take a step back and just feel it. It's okay. You will live through it. You will. It feels like it's going to overwhelm you. It feels so threatening. I know the dark places in us, they are challenging and they are the way to the light. Light shining on them is the way to the actual light of joy and happiness and healing and wholeness and connection and all the things that you want they are available to you from the inside so getting back to just sitting with that feeling for a minute I know for me so let me just use an example of when I felt something that hurt me very very much in the past couple of years we all have things it hurt a lot and I could feel myself wanting to lay blame or get defensive or just project because the pain was so acute it was so so painful the pain was so painful (laughs) of course it was but what I did instead was I exercised every bit of courage and self-love that I have nurtured over these past few years and I just sat there and what I felt was heat and trouble breathing if you want to name something name the pain in yourself what does it feel like it felt like heat in my chest in my throat in my back in my head it felt like a headache it felt like I can't breathe it felt like my heart was constricting it felt like I was drowning that's what the pain felt like to me and instead of naming it meaning it's because so and so did something or it's because I'm going through x y z or z um I just felt it and felt it and felt it because remember our nervous systems, our bodies, our cells, this is what we have, our physicality to process anything, pain, joy, experience, love, loss, all of it. And we need to be embodied, not only in our love and our joy, but in our pain. We, we get to feel it or it will stay there. And so as you sit with whatever that is and don't project and don't name it, Believe it or not, it will start to dissipate because it washes through. Cry. Let it out. Let it express. Let it be. Give it permission to be. Because we're part of our pain is resistance. Oh, it shouldn't be like this. I shouldn't feel like this. But you do. You do. It's there. So feel it. And bring love to it. And compassion. The same kind of compassion that my mama gave to me. Give to yourself. Give to your feelings. 
doesn't mean you're validating those feelings like you're saying, okay, I'm okay with feeling this way. And so the what the mind does and it tricks us and it says, if you validate that feeling and you say that it's okay and you send it love or hold it in love, you're going to feel it forever because you're validating it. You're giving it existence. That's what our resistance tells us. But it's not true. The resistance just adds to the pain. It's a lie. When you feel it, it heals it dissipates, it dissolves, it's like a, it's like a tornado or a hurricane playing out in your body, but you never let it settle. And when you actually face it and sit with it and take responsibility for your own happiness, which is where I started with this, you just let it dissipate and it will show up again, right? It comes in waves, whatever it may be. It will show up again until it's fully, fully healed. But this is how you do it. You have to go through the fire in order to get to the other side where there is joy, where there is happiness that comes from within and cannot be taken from you. And the more you do this, the more when something happens and it feels painful and you can feel that that juxtaposition that moment of choice where i'm going to project or i'm going to go drink alcohol or i'm going to you know whatever whatever your escape mechanism is wherever you're trying to get love from the outside if you choose in that moment to just breathe and to be present with whatever is there you will find that it dissipates and it becomes less and less painful every single time until something like that can happen again and you won't be triggered by it. It won't bother you. And that's how you know you're good to go on that particular issue. It's really, really cool how our healing mechanism works. It's the same way that you heal when you have a cut. It's the same thing. We are meant to heal. We're not meant to carry pain around with us forever. And it, it hinders us from feeling our joy. So... This is an invitation to you to actually take responsibility for your own happiness. Nobody can do this work for you. I know you know, but we want to take shortcuts sometimes, but there aren't any. And yet, when you start doing this work all the time and it becomes a habit, your habitual response to pain is, instead of, yikes, running away, it's, Whew, okay, here we go. And you dive in because you know, you lean in, you know that there's joy on the other side of it, that there's peace, peace of heart, peace of mind, peace and joy and love. They all go together. And you know that that's what's on the other side of this inner work that you need to do. Then you want to do it. And that is taking responsibility for your own happiness. And I hope that you can see in my face or hear in my voice that I continue to do this work and that some of my essence of joy can by osmosis get through to you because that is what I'm here for. That is what this podcast is here for. That's what we're all here for, to inspire each other, to lift each other up, to call each other forth. So thank you for being here. Just feeling into whether anything else wants to be said. Just gratitude. So much gratitude. Thank you. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you enjoyed this episode and it helped you open your heart, feel inspired, and know that we are all connected. Please subscribe and share so this work can touch more people. This is how we co-create the world we want to live in. Thank you so much again for joining us and talk to you next time.